time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, March 25th. Hope everybody's having a good day. S&P down 7, NASDAQ down 15, Russell up 12, Dow down 150, gold green, silver flat, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up a little less than 1%, oil up 1.6, natural gas down 3, uh, soybeans up, wheat up, corn down, euro in the pound a little bit higher, Bitcoin, it was up 5% last time I looked, now it's up 11 so big push out of the bit. Uh, VIX at 13.14. Started out the day at about 13 and a half. So it's come down mostly mostly in the morning session. Uh, good day so far. Had uh, AM ratio hit 50%. JSPs hit 50%. I uh, just did one discretionary price action trade small winner uh am ratio 9:45 am version um if uh, half off at 40% half off at 80% my quiet tranches 1 2 3 4 5 all hit 40% still got the ndx trade and then on my Challenge portfolio. Still have my uh, remaining 3-2 uh, re-entry and my remaining half of my 1-to-1 one -one ratio and my 1-DTE. One 1-DTE one is at 23%. Here is my remaining 3-2. So I could use a few points down. My one-to-one -one could also use a few points lower. My one DTE could also use a few points lower. But all in all, good day. Up about 9,000 in my uh, challenge portfolio and up about 9,000 in my other zero DTE account. So can't complain. It is Monday, my friends. Not much premium out there, but it stayed uh, stayed steady for us. So I think it I think it's pretty obvious. I will not be doing power hour. It's a normal day, and the premiums are non-existent. So no reason to force anything. I would like to just see about a five point down move and uh, sleep into the close. Might get to do a little Magic Mahomes at the end of the day. I did put on a 1-2 and a 1-3 double calendar, light size positions with the short holiday week. Uh, my 1-3 is about at break even. My 1-2 is down a little bit. Wuga did not qualify. Premium's too low. I've got a time fly. The graph's been off a little bit. I think this is closer to break even. It's hanging out under the uh, under the call strike.
Yeah, NDX needs a little pullback. Whereas SPX stayed in its range today, NDX is above its expected move by a decent amount. So my break even on NDX, I would need it to come down to, well, for max profit, I need it to come down to 18 to 90. In stock land, Nicola up 14%, GME up 13%. Are the diamond hands back on GME? Earnings is tomorrow after the market. Yeah, SMCI up 10%. Coinbase up 9. Riot up 9. MU up 8. Robinhood up 4. Baidu up 3. Square up 3. NVIDIA up two. NVIDIA creeping back up to all-time highs, 960. All-time high was 974. Tesla up 1%. Tilray down seven. Lulu down three. Lift down two. Oh, Boeing finally fired their CEO, huh? What's BA doing today? It's up a little bit. Was that more? I did a tiny futures, well, I made a tiny bit on futures today. I tried to get short here on S the S&P. Got a good fill close to the top here. And then I was looking for a break lower. It just never happened. So I just got out small profit. In your yield hanging out at 4.25. Range today, low of 16, high of 28, about 12 points. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a nice one, Ken. Uh, Calhoun is a guy. He was, he was a Previously on the board, or he was, I can't remember the story. He was previously an executive of some sort, maybe previous CEO. Anyway, they had to convince him to come back and kind of clean things up. But tough to steer a big ship like that after it's going down the wrong way. <laughs> touche, Booga, touche. Who's leading the basketball tournament these days? I know it's not me. Looks like Dayton, Gerdner, and Landon are on top right now. Dayton's got the Huskies, Lando's got the Tar Heels to win it all.
My one DTE is up about 24%. Doesn't look like we're going to get to 45 by the end of the day, but we can come down a little bit. We'll be close to 30 or 35. I did not. I didn't catch any basketball last night. All my positions could use about a five-point down move. One DTE is trading at 935, 45% would be 695. My three twos trading at 375. My limit to get out is at a buck. My one to one is trading at 450. I've got a limit to get out at $1.10. Even the Wooga couldn't withstand this low of premium, this low, to low volatility environment. I did do a little um, I, I went through the, the you know, Tim Weiss put out some and then Yevis put out some different variations of the Wooga up day, down day. Really the conclusion I came to is and like, you know, we already knew this pretty much, but if it's an update, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And so I haven't, I'm going to stick with my, my current update stuff. And the problem with, I mentioned in the chat last week, the problem with tranching Wugas because of the narrow width is you're going to run into strike overlap between shorts and long. So it can be a little bit problematic. So the back test of that, it's not really realistic because it takes all the trades, even though you wouldn't be able to really do that in real trading. But it's certainly a viable up day, normal day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to trade it just kind of on a discretionary basis when I have strikes available. which is usually going to be in a normal day if the premiums qualify. Maro, how long are you on the bench before you can go climbing again with that with that dog attack? Man, that's such a terrifying thing. I've luckily I've never had that happen, but I hope never to have that happen. Discount you've been attacked twice? You guys must be putting off some kind of vibe. Dogs love me. <laughs> you guys must have cats or something. Okay, that's good.
Oh, I got you. A lot of wild dogs there. What about you? what about yours, Mara? Was that a wild dog or was it a somebody's pet? Oh, wow. Yeah, usually when I see somebody walking dogs, if they look a little on edge, I usually try to go to the other side. All right, getting a couple po a couple points down, fifty two twenty five. Yeah, that would have uh, traumatized the kid for life. Probably traumatized you for life. Would have traumatized me for life. I'm a big dog lover. All right, one DT is up about 30% now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Discount. He does talk about that. Talks about a snake, too. My guy's over at his friend's house, and they... bring out a snake and his daughter just starts playing with it with no fear. Whereas he was scared out of his mind. I assume the lady with the dogs felt terrible too, right? Did she say anything like that's never happened before or anything? See, this is what happens when we have low premium, my friends. We talk about dogs and snakes.
Uh, I'm going to keep doing NDX. I'll probably up my size a little bit next month. Comes down a little bit. It can still get there. I'm going to add another duck today, or we don't have any ducks on. I was going to add a duck if got a little bit more downside, but I'm going to hold off for now. My re-entries are coming back to center. My one to one or my one DTE is up 32% coming back to center. Liking this little down move. My NASDAQ likes the little down move. Uh, Yoga Delic, yeah, I always just close the whole thing. Okay, so she knew, it probably happened before, she knew, she was telling you to stay away, she knew there was an issue. A couple of hedgehogs and ES. One of them is pretty close to even. The more recent one that I just put on is up a couple hundred. Just a little lower. What a dead day. Good dead day, but dead day. So tomorrow is Tuesday. Got some medium impact events, durable good orders. Thirty minutes after the bell, consumer confidence. Wednesday, FOMC member Waller speaks, but that's after the market closes. Two hours after the market closes. Thursday, GDP unemployment claims pre-market. This pending home sales must be a big one because it's usually not labeled as high impact, but it is on Thursday, thirty minutes after the market opens. And then don't forget the market is closed on Friday.
Yeah, Monday's open. Monday, April 1st. So this is the last week of trading for March. Lando, Ken's calling you out. Way to keep him in line, Ken. He must have got too crazy at his wedding this weekend. Eli, are you on the call? Yeah, so Eli, if you're on here, I saw your post in the uh, Trade Steward channel. So so yeah, the uh, so like Toss had the gap down today at 0.28%. Based on the way that Trade Steward looks at the open, they had it exactly at 0.3%. So my quiet tranches, the criteria is 0.3%. So it's exactly, but remember the, the criteria in the bot said it's got to be greater than 0.3%. So if it's at 0.3%, it wouldn't trigger. So I had mine at 0.31 uh, or I, cha I changed it to 0.31 because I, I, I looked at the bot activity beforehand and I, and I noticed that the real open was minus 0.28%. So I changed it to 0.31 just so my bots would fire. Got some short premium in SMH. Doing well. Still need NASDAQ down about 20 points. Now volume is volume has been light. Like uh, S and P futures today, only six hundred eighty thousand contracts have been traded. A million is pretty light. One point five. I don't know what the average is these days, but super light volume today.
Profit target on my three twos at a dollar. It's currently trading at a dollar forty, dollar fifty. Profit target on my one to one is at a dollar ten. Currently trading at two ten. One DTE is up a little over thirty one percent now. Comes down a little bit more. We'll center even better. Cody, I definitely, well, I shouldn't have even traded the Friday calendars. I did them with small size, but, uh, you know, the four or five ended up being a winner, but the three, five, three, six did not. Uh, the one, two and the one, three that I put on earlier, you know, the one, two is already down 9%. Um, the one, three is down about three or 4%. I did them with tiny size, but those calendars definitely tend to not perform as well on a low volume holiday type week. Uh, as far as zero DTE goes, I, I'll just, I'll just trade my plan. Um, you know, if tomorrow we wake up and the VIX is down overnight, obviously a lot of my, I don't have a, a lot of trades except for Rick that would fire, but it VIX is under 14. So it would, if I do it, it'll be discretionary. And then anything else I would do would be discretionary and I would do a super small size. You know, with premium so low and volume so low, you know, all it, all it takes is a, you know, a decent sized trader to come in and push that thing around. So that's the issue. You know, you get into a, say like a TLC type trade, push the market 10 or 15 points right away. You get stopped out, you know, that, that kind of stuff can, it gets, it can get really whippy. With low volume sometimes. I've been selling some butterflies. I've got a total of 335 in credit so far. I've got the 20, 30, and 25 strikes. Getting close to my 95% profit target at a buck on my 3 2. It's trading at a buck 25.
NDX creeping down. I need another 10 points plus. Uh, no VK. The only did the the only thing I did today was the uh, one two and one three. Just keeping in super small size. Just keeping it light. The low volume holiday week. knocking on the door of my dollar profit target. Yeah, sure, Michael Todd. Um, <clears throat> so what I do, if I have a bot that is, um, you know, that like on my re-entries, on my challenge portfolio, I want to, when it gets to 30% profit, I want to um, close half and reduce my stop. And that one just hit a buck. So add it 95% on my 3-2. So let's just take this one, for example. Um, you know, this one has a, this is my remaining one to one ratio of my re-entries. This one has a profit target of $1.10. Let's say I wanted to set an alert so that when it's getting close to trade, that spread's getting close to trading for $1.10, I would get an alert. And so you can simply right click on that order. Uh, or if you don't have a profit target in, in your system. You can also take, you know, the opening order, which was this one here, and you could say create opposite. So it'd be like a closing order. And then you can set that to whatever it is. So if, if you wanted to be alerted at three bucks, then you just put that on the price, right click on the order, create alert, and then do at or below. So once price of that spread gets at or below $3 in this example, then it would send me an alert. And then you just, you choose what you want that alert to be. You can pick from different sounds. You can have it send you a text message, um, which I usually do. I usually have it play a sound on my platform and send me a text message. And then you just hit create and it's done.
So on my one to one, I've got a my profit targets at a buck ten. It's currently trading at a buck ninety five. Starting to bounce a little bit. The twenty five at the money butterfly is selling for. Wow, is that already at two bucks? Oh boy. Mahomes came to play early today. I mean, obviously we haven't had much movement, but Let's see if I can get filled at two twenty. Two fifteen. So I'm going to do a smaller size and then try to get more as we get closer. Try to get some at 215. Uh, that that happens automatically. So it's based on a percent of net lick every day, Morrow. So the bots, it's ba the the trade size is based on a percentage uh, in the bots. Yep. Yeah. So it's so the size has already started increasing. Like when I first started, I was doing like six or seven contracts on the one to one. Today it took eleven. All right, filled at my at the money butterfly on the uh, 5225 calls at 210. I'm going to try to get into some more if it hangs out here at even better prices, but I just wanted to start scaling in. Hopefully it doesn't run away too quick before I get more on. Yeah, that. Uh, so technically, I just started the the challenge portfolio in March. I was doing it some in February, but this is the account. So first of March, this account started at one hundred, right around one hundred forty one thousand. It's already at one ninety six. I was trading other stuff in it before this, but it's already up eighty percent year to date. Another eleven over eleven k today. I'm liking, I'm liking it. Obviously it's going to have losers. It's going to have drawdowns, but so far so good. So we got about 24 minutes to go, 23 minutes to go. Yeah, you know, one thing I was thinking about doing with the challenge portfolio to start with, and I decided not to, but I, I think I'm going to add it, add it in for April is... And I, I kind of came to the conclusion that I'd do this when I was doing a lot of the 
testing on the update woogas and things like that. It's just the more I, the more I look at it, the, when it's an up day, you know, when, when the SPX is up over half percent from the open, it's just, you can almost do anything and make money consistently. So I'm going to add a little bit of update power hour into the, into the, uh, challenge portfolio. I don't take any re-entries after three o'clock central. And so, um, you know, there is a chance that I could be using, if I do that, I, I'd be, I would just do 10% on each of my power hour update tranches. Um, and so, you know, there's a, there's a chance I could be using a good portion of my capital if my two re-entries are still on and they haven't hit profit target to be reduced, if my one DTE is still on, um, you know, so there's a chance I, you know, on some days I could be using the pretty decent amount of my of my account buying power but i'm okay with that on updates too so that that's the only change i'm going to make yeah two cent two central is the last i don't enter any more uh, re-entries at that point But as far as changes in my April plan for anything else, uh, nothing, nothing yet that I can think of off the top of my head. My one DTE is up to 37%. Could get to 45. Could just get there. Needed to stay a little bit lower. Trying to get filled on some more 25 butterflies at uh, 225. I got filled at some at 215, just trying to scale in while we're hovering around this 25 price. Yeah, that's just a intro class for non non members. Yep. Getting close to filling my order. And we're pushing up above 26. May have been trying to get too cute and not just get filled. <clears throat>
should get filled here. It just holds or goes down a point. My financial juice audio on MOC number here in about six minutes. I haven't put in the, uh, I'm still trying to get up to get filled on some more 25 butterflies. I got filled some at some at 215. I was trying to get some more at 225. So I haven't put in my verticals yet. I really just like to make sure I get those in before the MOC number in case we move. All right, there we go. Filled at 25. All right, so now put in my put vertical if we go up. All vertical if we go down. All right, Mahomes is locked and loaded with 15 minutes to go. I need a five point move, which today is asking a lot. My remaining one one profit targets at a buck ten is trading at a dollar ninety two bucks. My one DTE and my one to one need a little bit more move lower. All right, a couple minutes till MOC. Friday was not a good MOC number. Over 5 billion buy side and it went the other way. I got stopped out. Very rarely have I ever gotten stopped out on that. Come on down to 5220. That's a beautiful number for everything I've got. 
I would help bring NDX down. I get filled in my verticals for my Mahomes. My one DTE would be close to profit target. My one to one would hit profit target. One to one's getting close. Just trying to hit a buck ten. Hit it. Not yet, White Tiger. I haven't heard anything yet. I'll definitely be letting you know as soon as I do, though. All right, MOC coming out in about 30 seconds. I was hoping that would get filled. Well, I don't want to rip higher. Build at a buck ten, nice. One point nine billion sell side. So a fairly small number. All right. Let's get down to 52.20 or below. Get my call vertical filled. Yeah, bring down the NASDAQ. See, so my credit that I got was a uh, average of two dollars and twenty cents. So an exact pin would be about a little over five thousand dollars of risk. Max profit of forty three fifty. If I if I didn't put my verticals in. So the risk reward on this is really good. If we just move five points. Ticks below 52.20, it should fill. NDX is creeping back. Getting close. My one DTE is at about 39% profit. All right, it'll close out in four minutes by the bot. I'm just gonna let the bot do its thing. If we come down more, I might hit my 45%. Just might. All verticals trading at about a dollar ninety two bucks. It's got to get a little bit lower. Dollar fifty. Looking for a dollar, dollar forty five. That's below fifty two twenty. It's only trading at a buck forty. I just I like the risk reward on this so much. I'm not going to pay up at all, but. I'm kind of tempted just to take my verticals off, but I'm just going to let it go.
Yeah, it's trading below 52.20, but I'm not getting filled. Uh, yeah, I think my bot's at 931 discount, if I remember right. I'm surprised my vertical's only trading for a buck fifty here. I guess we still do have six minutes to go. Not used to it moving five points that quickly. It's getting close, buck fifteen. One more little push down, another 20 cents. NASDAQ is back in range, baby. Need a little bit more down. Build at 95 cents on my vertical, so cancel my other one. I'll have to show you the simulated one to show you what I got because I did both calls. All right, so here's my net result. My get rid of these worst case scenario is i make 2450 if we push above 5230 by chance i could make up to 12450 ndx got to stay below 18290 for max profit yeah, my one DTE is at 42%. Let's see where that's at. Profit target's at 695. It's trading at 720. I would just hit. Oh no. Oh, it's it's time to it's trying to exit. It's trying to exit at 720. Filled at 730. So about 43% on the one DTE. Nice. Up over 12K in the challenge portfolio. It's just been a good day all around. All right. Now, if NASDAQ, after discount, left it for dead, they can book max profit. Three minutes to go. See, that's why it's so so much better being able to get into these short butterflies with you know ten or fifteen minutes to go before the MOC comes out because you got you know the chance of the market moving five points in. You know, in my case, I had to move six points today, but chance of moving five or six points in fifteen minutes is a lot better than five or seven minutes. Yeah, today's one of those days, White Tiger, which based on the premiums to start the day, I didn't, wasn't necessarily the most confident in all the trades I had going. Yeah, so I'll let, the, I'll let the, uh, the Magic Mahomes expire. Yep. It expires right here. I'll make 2,450. If by chance we catch a big rip up, that's when it really, really pays. All 
I don't believe in luck, Dark Avenger. When I win, it's all skill. When I lose, I have bad luck. <laughs> Just like right now in the uh, basketball tournament. Landon is so lucky right now. If I was on top, it would be skill. Isn't that how it works? Like when Dick K beats me in a bet, all luck. <laughs> If Arizona wins, that was just my due diligence, deep research, back testing. <laughs> Chad trading from the turkey blind, couldn't resist. Thirty seconds. Twelve K in one account, twelve K in the other. Yeah, twenty four, twenty four K day, my friends. I like it. Ding, ding, ding. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, so let's see. Did I have any losing trades? Did I have any losing trades? I did not have one losing trade today. <laughs> not a one. Even my futures trade... That didn't really work out. I made 170, 187.50 on. Good stuff. Uh, all right. So tomorrow for live stream, um, no live stream in the morning. Chad's killing innocent birds. I can't do the morning. So no live stream at the open, but uh, we'll be back for power hour. All right, all. Great day. Have a good night. Take care.